always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. All right, starting over the live look outside, Grand Rapids region looking pretty easy to take. And overall, we're fairly quiet out there. You can see from our satellite and radar imagery that we have just one thunder shower that's north of Green Bay. And that's not really going to be impacting many of us tonight. In fact, the severe risk for us tonight is far off to the north, and it's a one out of five for severe risk scale. As we get closer to tomorrow, we start to see the risk shift just a bit. You'll notice a touch further to the south. But still, we're just in a one out of five severe risk category, and we're not expecting much, if anything. So the big thing that we're expecting tonight, mostly clear conditions. Temperatures are going to be dropping down into the 60s for the most part. So a pretty quiet night for us. We're not really going to be seeing more than just a few clouds north of places like Big Rapids. And you'll notice that the wind is settling down west-southwest at about 5. Grand Rapids waking up to 69 tomorrow, Schoolcraft 65, and Sturgis 64. Three-day forecast has the heat continuing for Tuesday and Wednesday. Tomorrow, 89 degrees, Wednesday, 87. And we have a few slight changes in the forecast here for Tuesday and Wednesday. The first is that Tuesday's thunder shower chance is mainly overnight, and not everyone will even see rain from that. Wednesday is going to be sunny more often than not, we have an isolated chance of a shower or storm, especially in the afternoon. We will be watching to see if there's a big downpour associated with it. But the biggest thing that you'll notice on Wednesday is just that it's going to be really breezy. We could see some wind gusts up near 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow, the heat begins to build with the humidity. Wednesday, the humidity stays, but at least we had the wind. Speaking of humidity, for those of you that watch the dew point, you know that 60s start to mean sticky. So Tuesday and Wednesday, the days that we have our shower and storm chance, we also have some dew points that are a little higher. So you're going to feel the humidity along with the heat, a bit more relief for, t for Thursday and Friday after Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, if you're hoping to head to the lakeshore to beat the heat, South Haven, 75 tomorrow. Wednesday, watch out for the waves, two to four footers. And again, those are kind of the waves that have been giving us trouble this year. Two to four footers don't seem like much, but they're usually enough to catch even good swimmers off guard. Here's the future cast. A cold front rolls through. And again, Wednesday afternoon, chance of a pop-up shower in the wake of it. Not expecting much. Eight-day forecast. A few more shower and storm chances for the weekend. Won't be raining the entire time, but hey, that's another shot at some much-needed rain.